everybody and welcome back to Kenya. It is Steph on the River Cams and I thought that I'd show you the first view of the River Cams this afternoon uh, with the last shot of a shot of a bend in the Mara River up here in Kenya um, and where this morning we had a group of hippo busy mouthing and licking a wildebeest car. Hippo here but there are tons of crocodiles that have come out onto the same sandbank to come and sun themselves. Obviously crocodiles are cold-blooded and they use in the environment to um, manage their metabolism and, uh, and, 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 eat and, and basically uh, um, di enable themselves to digest food. Gee whiz, I forgot how to talk there for a second. Isn't that terrible? All right. What I am going to do is uh, I want to show you guys something spectacular. I'm going to ask Geraldine, please, to move over to the mountain cam view so that I can show you what I'm busy having a look at at the moment. Just have... A look at that. That is my view over the Mara. The mountain cam obviously is a camera that is just outside of my office, which I, so that view that you're seeing over there is the view that I have from my office window, which is uh, quite, well, arguably for me at least anyway, the best office view that anybody could have in the entire world. Just have a look at that, with that rainbow. It's just, we've just had a little uh, afternoon thunder shower here over the Mara and, um, and that fantastic rainbow that is busy shining out from the valley just in front of us. Isn't that spectacular? There we go. That's about as good as what I can get the framing, I think. So feel free to snap away on your screenshots and save that for a bit. I think that is just glorious. Let's see if we can zoom in on these colors for you. I always wondered how close you can get to, well, there we start losing a bit of color. Oh, that is fantastic. Obviously, a rainbow is created by the refraction of light through water in the atmosphere. And it takes a very special set of circumstances to get a rainbow. The sunlight has to be at just the right angle. I can't remember exactly what the angle is right now. I think it's in and around the 20 degrees odd. There has to be water in the atmosphere and there obviously has to be sunlight as well. So sunlight at a very specific angle shining onto water and you get this rainbow that is probably one of Mother Nature's next to lightning for me, most spectacular light shows. Oh, and don't forget the Aurora Borealis and Aurora Australis as well. So that lightning, rainbows and auroras are some of Mother Nature's most spectacular light shows and just have a look at that. Oh, let me out a little bit and see if we can get almost the full curve of the rainbow for you. Here we go. There's another opportunity there for you for another screenshot. Please send it to us. We love seeing your, your screenshots. Oh, just absolutely fantastic, isn't that? All right. Now, why don't we go back to the river cam. Uh, cool de sac Please, uh, Jerry, go back to where we were with the... Uh... So now we're back on cul-de-sac crossing, and let's go and see what the crocodiles have been doing uh, to the wildebeest. Oopsie, excuse me. Well, my fault, everyone. Sorry. It's just me getting a little bit over-eager with the camera controls over here. I haven't got the steady hand that uh, Jandre or David or Senzo or anyone has. They haven't opened this wildebeest at all. Now, see, Mac, you've asked me if the, uh, if the crocs are full-bellied this afternoon. I can tell you that that wildebeest is full-bellied. That is obviously fermentation happening of the grass in its belly cavity, and without it being able to, using muscles, push gas out uh, at either end, uh, the belly swells up. And that may cause the wildebeest to actually unbeach itself at some point. But have a look at how massive that is. Let's go and have a look at these crocodiles since you've asked about how full they are. Now, let's go to the biggest one because we can see. I assume that these crocodiles are about as full as what crocodiles can get. And the reason for that is that there is just this massive amount of meat lying around in this river at the moment. Not only are these crocodiles catching things probably weekly, 
uh, or multiple times a week, but also carcasses that are coming to float down the river, they are busy dismembering. And just have a look at the size of that crocodile. That is easily, oh, I don't know. What are your guesses on how long that crocodile is? I mean, let's see if we can use something as a, as a bit of a scale. It is a giant of a crocodile. Isn't the biggest crocodile? The biggest crocodile that we've got living in this pond might be this guy living up here. He's got a dark green head. Quite difficult to actually see. Yeah, that might be the biggest crocodile living in this pond. It's a guy with a dark, dark green head. And he'll be longer than this one we're trying to look at now. But without some scale, I don't know. Let's, look, let's use this bird, because I know how big this bird is. So that bird is a thick knee, it looks like, if I'm judging these things correctly. Let's call it a thick knee bird, which is about the size of a small chicken. And using a chicken as a, and it's almost in line with that crocodile, probably a few feet back. So using a chicken as, a, as an example, and let's call a chicken a foot in length, we've got... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven foot crocodile. How's that for a guess? So I say that that's about an eleven foot crocodile. What do you think? Send your answers to the hashtag Safari Live and let's see what you think about how big this crocodile is. The crocodile top left hand corner just had a regurgitation of some sorts. Now, while they're sitting there with their mouth open, you might ask me, they're sitting there with their mouth open simply because they're trying to bounce their core temperature, their core body temperature at the most optimal temperature to maintain a healthy metabolism. And uh, that is what they're doing. Now, Lisa, you've just said that this crocodile is 10 to 12 feet and tony has said that this crocodile is at least 16 feet 16 feet tony is probably what that dark green crocodile is at the back i'm going to say only because it's what i guess it at as well lisa i'd guess that this crocodile is somewhere between 10 and 12 feet that is what i'm assuming this crocodile to be at it's a giant crocodile that thing is easily has a size 12 back foot and is as wide across the middle as you are with your arms outstretched. You wouldn't, you'd be able to lie on the back of that crocodile with your arms outstretched and your palms might just be able to touch the floor. That is how big that crocodile is. Massive. All right. On that note, I think uh, let us send you back to uh, Byron all the way down in South Africa.